Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful Oris Pro Diver 49 millimeter. This is a Leviathan. Now, this watch um, is for purchase and it is at Inventory Adjusters and I'll leave a link uh, to the website uh, if you're interested in this. And I'd like to thank those guys for letting me borrow this to check it out. Now, this is one of Oris's most serious divers. Um, Oris is a all Swiss made brand and they're in Holstein, um, uh, Switzerland. And they've been around and family owned since the beginning. It's never changed. And this is an interesting diver. That's why I wanted to uh, take it and check it out. And I'm glad to be able to show you guys this one. This one is very interesting. The most interesting thing to me is going to be this uh, bezel system. This is a patented bezel system. As you can see on the back of the watch, um, it even states that it has a, um, a special bezel uh, lock. So that, that that's pretty cool. And the way this works is you have to pull this bezel up until it pops. And then that releases the bezel. Then you get 120 clicks like a normal bezel and then you push it back down when you're done. And that's how it works. Now, any other time, the bezel is free and it locks at the three, six, nine, and 12 positions. Now, it also has uh, some writing on the bezel and I'll show you that. It says, rotation safety system tested to 1,000 meters. You can also see it has a helium escape valve and this watch is 100 bar or 1,000 meter watch. As you can see, it does say that right down there at 6 o'clock. Pro Diver, 100 bar, 1,000 meters. That is some serious stuff right there. And I guess you would need a, a helium escape valve uh, for those kind of depths. Now, this case, um, as far as I know, it doesn't share any other... Uh, cases with any other Oris watches. It is a big case. You do get that classic kettle style case, but you have a lot of bezel overhang because of this rubber um, bezel system. You also get um, a flat um, kind of brushed, well, let's say a brushed black uh, ceramic bezel in here with really nice numbers etched in there. You have a loom pip at 12 o'clock uh, beautiful loom on this one and you'll see it in a second it is really really nice now this GMT works on the uh, home time principle so if you pull it out once one way you'll move the date advance the date and the other way um, you you advance the GMT hand so I call that a home time GMT it doesn't move the uh, hour hand like uh, a Rolex GMT master if you pull it out to the extremity, it hacks, and then you can move the watch and set it to a known reference time. Now, this watch has a mini sub dial over here at 9 o'clock, and that is your running seconds. As you can see, I'll screw that back in. And this running seconds has two tips. You have a white tip and then a, um, a polished uh, tip. Sword style hands on this one with lots of loom. And then you have a bicolor loom because the GMT hand is a different color loom than the rest of the hands. And you also get that GMT in yellow. Now, if you look at the dial up close, I'll show you at an angle. You do get this C wave pattern. And then inboard of the indices, you get your GMT track. And then inside the rehole, you can see it says Pro Diver GMT. That's just for decoration that doesn't mean anything um and <clears throat> and i think it's pretty cool why not you also get a date wheel over here at three o'clock with um a really small uh indice um uh, index over here uh to show uh the loom at three o'clock but at least you do get one over there and you get a black date wheel with white printing that is real nice all the printing on this watch is nice um and I think it is unique if you can stand a watch of this size. Now, 
the bracelet is an integrated style bracelet. You have to wear it on this bracelet, um, in my opinion, and it is titanium. And you get these big triangle style um, screws, which you need a special screwdriver to uh, take off. And you also get a removable crown guard. And you get a rather large sign crown. And I'll measure that too. Now, the drape on the bracelet is beautiful. It's all titanium three-link uh, style bracelet with brushed center links and polished outer links of all titanium. And this is a fix with screws to watch it when you um, size these uh, because the screws are going to be tougher than the titanium. And if you get a cross thread in there, you will have to purchase a new bracelet. You will ruin that. Reason why I know because I've done that before on uh, titanium bracelets. Now you get a three anchoring points on this one, a dive extension that is all titanium, and a twin trigger deployant with a full titanium swing arm. And then you get a titanium back that is screwed down, and that also is going to help that 1,000 meter uh, dive rating. Sapphire crystal with anti reflective coating on the inside and beautiful, beautiful loom. But I'm show you what this looks like on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. I can wear this wrist watch, but if your watch is under, I mean, if your wrist is under seven inches, I, I might have to tell you to be inclined to pass on this one unless you really just like big watches because this is a big watch. It's a beast, even though it is titanium. Now let's do some quick measurements. This thing is 16 millimeters thick and it's not even a chronograph. Lug to lug is a 54, that's pretty big. The crown is almost nine mil, that's a big crown. Real easy to get to, easy to turn and operate. I do like that fact. And then the bezel is going to be right at 48.3. And then if you measure from the crown guard to the back of the case, it's going to be right at 49, about what they're um, saying this watch wears like. And I will have to tell you, this watch does wear big. It does not wear small. It wears big. It is a big watch. It's a Leviathan. And if you can't stand big watches, this one might not be for you. And it does have some weight to it, even though it is titanium. And I'll weigh that for you in a second also. Now we're going to look at this loom. You have this beautiful BGW9 blue loom and a pop of um, yellow loom too uh, for the GMT. I don't know if you can see that it does have contrasting loom. That's your full night shot. It blazes bright. It blazes all night. Oris yeah, has always had good loom on their divers. There's no problem there. And finally, the weight of this beast, unsized, is going to be 177 grams. So that is going to be a pretty beefy watch. It needs to be titanium. If this was in metal, it would be probably over 300 grams. But 177, I guess, is acceptable. But it um, is a nice titanium watch, really nice uh, brushing and finishing on here. Oris does a first rate job. And I will put this up against a, a, a Rolex a Deep Sea Dweller uh, anytime. So let me know what you guys think about this one. It is rocking a Salita SW220 for the GMT, and it has about 38 hours of autonomy. Pedestrian movement, you don't need to see the back of it. Nice watch beautiful available right now at inventory adjusters and i'll leave a link thanks for watching god bless and as usual i'll catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching